I went through many headsets to find the one that suits me the most. I watched countless reviews, scrolled through every pro setup tool, studied every type of headset to see what would suit me the most. And then I found it. This has been my main pair of headphones for over a month now. And I don't know if I'll ever have to buy new ones ever again. Oh, don't mind me. Just eating my pierogies. Hello, everyone. My name is Patrick, and these right here are pretty neat. Okay, saying these headphones are pretty neat is probably a big understatement, considering they make every game I play more fun and immersive. So the drop in Sennheiser HD 58X, why do these keep getting longer names, is an incredibly clean looking pair of headphones. And yes, I do look at aesthetics of any gear that I buy, especially since I am a content creator, so you'll see these on my head. In like every video. It has godlike pads for comfort, the material is pretty unique, and most likely new for anyone who mostly plays with regular gaming headsets. The only problem I've had with them is after a while the top pads start hurting my head after a few hours, and the best way to prevent it is usually either moving the top part just a little bit or wearing some sort of hat. The material of the actual headphones make it feel incredibly premium, not to mention the smell when you take those bad boys out of that box for the first time. While most of the Sennheiser HD 58X is made out of plastic to make it lightweight, there are metal parts where they are needed, and it just makes you feel like some pro audio engineer mixing Eminem's new track. Okay, okay, okay. But how does that actually sound? So these are actually open back headphones, meaning that sound will leak a lot. So you better not watch the hub in the- Also means that the sound is 10 times more immersive than any closed back gaming headset. The only non-FPS game I play, The Witcher 3, is an orgasmic experience for me now. In fact, any game with amazing audio quality and realistic ambient sound surrounding you just immerses you into the game's world effortlessly with these headphones. I absolutely love playing single player campaigns now. In fact, my favourite one right now is the one in Modern Warfare 2019, especially those really tactical missions. That just really makes me feel like Batman. The sound signature is often compared to the Sennheiser HD 660S, a $500 pair of headphones making these such a bang for your buck since the Sennheiser HD 58X is $150, just great value. When it comes to surround sound in those more competitive games, it's not 100% perfect, but what I do for those games is I turn on the surround feature in the SteelSeries GG Sonar app. Now fun fact, I don't have an audio interface to plug the Sennheiser Jubilee into, I just plug it straight into my motherboard and it still sounds loud and crystal clear. Though I am currently saving up for an Audient Evo 4 to bump up the sound and so I can one day buy my dream microphone, the Audio-Technica AT2035, which I'm also saving up for. So concluding this video, if you want a pair of open back audiophile headphones that deliver a fantastic soundstage for movies, music and gaming for $150, look no further. And the Sennheiser HD 58X Jubilee. Thank you so much for watching, I'll leave a link to these headphones uh, in the description, along with other links you might enjoy. And as always, I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.